guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is why Dracula deserves better. Now in most pieces of media, books, movies, shows, etc., Dracula is the bad guy. He's the antagonist. The bump in the night, as you will. Most media, especially movies, he dies. A lot. The main example of this is the Dracula movies from Hammer Film Studios. I think there's about nine of them. Maybe a little less. And they started in the 50s and went all the way up into the 70s. And Christopher Lee was their Dracula. Peter Cushing was his Van Helsing. Yes. But he died at the end of every single Dracula movie he was in. At least the main set made by Hammer Films. He died. And it wasn't the same type of death. He died in a multitude of ways. He was burned by the sun. He fell into a... a ice. He like, fell under the ice into like a frozen pond. He was staked by a cross that fell on him. <clears throat> and he died... was it thorns? I'm not positive, but I know for a fact that he has died in a multitude of ways in like dramatic fashion so many times. But he always came back. They'd figure out a way to bring him back, whether by slitting someone's throat above his coffin or taking the dust of him and doing something with it. But he always came back. He died, come back. You can't get rid of Dracula. He just, re you know, you just bring back the dust and you're set. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's coming back. Now, he's died in other movies as well, usually by getting staked. He's been left out in the sun. Uh, he's, you know, whatever way they want to kill Dracula. They ruin his coffin, blah, 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 blah. Hammer Films really did it artistically by killing him in so many different ways that are really stupid <laughs> that it's just hilarious. But today I'm talking about why Dracula deserves better is because in almost every movie, not every single one, Dracula dies. He's the bad guy. He dies. He doesn't get what he wants. He just keels over. Now, if you're going off of the main story of the original book, he's not a good guy. You know, he goes to England and he slowly feeds on Lucy until he turns her into one of his brides. And, uh, you know, she gets killed by her friends. That's not his fault. That's, you know. But he turns her into a vampire. Then he goes after Mina. Neither of these women did it voluntarily. He is using mind control and his powers to convince them and to have them fall in love with him and for him to feed on them. And so he is toxic. There are a few movies where you actually feel for Dracula, uh, like Dracula Untold. Uh, they go into history of, you know, of him and why he chose to be, a, like, he chose to be a vampire uh, to save his family. And in the end, he does live. He doesn't die in that one, but you feel for him. There's also, uh, I believe, Love at First Bite, which is a comedy movie that has Dracula. Dracula also doesn't die in that one. Uh, he does get the girl, and he does make it through the day. But these are rare occurrences, especially the older Dracula movies. Nowadays, there's a lot more you know, teen boppy type of Draculas where uh, they don't die. But if you're going like 80s backward, they had the thought process that vampires were evil, which I understand why, you know, it's the temptation, the sexual temptation. And they had to die in the end. They were the bad guy. They couldn't win. What the hell are you talking about? All the Dracula movies, uh, Hammer Film in general, are just vampire movies. They always die. Not even just Dracula. They just always have to die. They can't win. That's not allowed. <laughs> but Dracula specifically, he dies a lot. He doesn't die in every single thing he's ever been in, but he dies a lot. And usually it's getting staked. Sometimes it's funny. If you have not seen the Hammer film Dracula movies, you should watch them. And then count how many different ways they kill him. Because it's hilarious. And for him to just come back and be like, hey, how's it going? Now, Dracula is a bad guy. I'm not saying he's, he's, you know, he's not a saint. I mean, he's a vampire, for one. But also, he's just, he doesn't have good intentions with basically anything he's doing. But I think he deserves better because he always fucking dies. In almost everything he's in, they kill him. I have only seen a rare few movies, especially older ones, where they don't have him die, and he actually gets the girl. I like, there's a, a series that only lasted one season uh, about Dracula, um with an actor named Jonathan, and it, he doesn't look anything like Dracula. His accent is not Dracula, but it's more, like, he's a monster. They show that. 
But he also is falling in love with the girl, and she kind of feels the same. And yes, he does some horrible things, but it goes more to his sensitive side a little bit. Draculon told us this as well. Love at first bite, he's not really a good guy, but it's more comedy based, so it's not bad. Um, but I'd like a. I'm not saying Twilight's good because it's not, but like a love story like that, not as toxic as Twilight, but maybe Dracula becoming a better man and falling in love with a human. You know, like a stereotypical love story where he falls in love and she actually loves him back. He's not using his powers to convince her. He's not, you know, watching her sleep or, or biting her against her will or it's actually consensual. Uh, I think that would be really cool. And I just think that he deserves a movie where he gets what he wants. He gets the girl. He gets to live. You know, maybe if he wasn't such a bad person, maybe they portray Dracula as a better human. Um, well, he's not human, but you know what I mean. Uh, maybe he could have a movie like that. Of course, if he's the bad guy and continues acting like he does in the original Dracula book, then, uh, yeah, you're gonna die because everyone's gonna be against you. But if there's a reason to, like, feel bad for him, then maybe he'll live. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, you know, he always dies. It's kind of like how I talked about how Lucy always dies. She gets turned into a vampire dies. That's Dracula's fault. But I also feel like Dracula is the same sense of he always fucking dies. It's always the same. And I think he deserves a movie where he doesn't. Now, of course, I've not seen every single vampire movie or every single Dracula movie in existence, but that would be pretty sick. And I have seen a lot. There could be a Dracula movie out there that I have not seen where this, the exact storyline I'm describing happens. And if you guys know of that movie, comment it down below because I want to watch it. But in a majority of cases, Dracula fucking dies. <laughs> Some way or another, he dies. Some Hammer films, that's hilarious. Uh, but he, he kills over. So I'd like a Dracula movie where he lives. There are a few, as I've mentioned, Dracula Untold is one of my favorites. Uh, he lives in that one. That one's pretty good. I enjoy it. It's a little campy sometimes, but it's pretty good. Luke Evans, cool Dracula. Now, a lot of people have played Dracula, whether it's in movies or TV shows or even music videos, commercials, stuff like that. There's been a lot of Dracula actors. Some do very well. Gary Oldman is an example of that. Uh, he does a very good job at playing Dracula. And then you have the Dracula from Blade. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't like that Dracula. I know they were going off a monster, creature-esque vibe, but that Dracula, horrible. The only thing that saved uh, Blade Trinity was Ryan Reynolds. And I will say that to my grave. <laughs> so there's been a lot of Draculas throughout since the movie, you know, the book's creation and movies started becoming a thing. There's been many Draculas. Uh, Bela Lugosi is an icon. Nosferatu, don't even fucking bring it up. That's not Dracula. That is a ripoff. <laughs> I bring this up way too much, but I hate Nosferatu and I will continue to say it until I die. And I will keep plugging the video where I talk about why I hate Nosferatu so much. Dude. <laughs> Dude. There's just the thing. It's just the thing. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that Dracula deserves better. He deserves to live. Maybe get the girl. Maybe not be such an asshole, asshat. You know, be a little bit of a better person. Um, he's lived a long ass life. You know, he's a little toxic. He's got three brides that he keeps captive in his castle. So, you know, he's got some problems to work through. Maybe work through it a little bit and Maybe you won't die. Just an idea. Comment down below what your favorite Dracula is. My favorite Dracula is Christopher Lee. I love the Hammer films, as I've talked about a lot in this video. There are a few other Draculas I like, like Luke Evans does a pretty good job. Um, Gary Oldman does a good job as well. Um, and there's a few others, but he's definitely my favorite. By far. I just love, well I love Hammer films in general, the 70s and backward like vampire movies. Just the way they're filmed and the effects, and I just, I'd say nostalgia, but I wasn't alive. So it's not nostalgia, it's more of, I just think it's really cool. So comment down below what your favorite Dracula is. Also comment down below if you have a favorite Dracula death. Whether it be Hammer Films, a modern movie, a different type of old movie, or whatever it may be. Because he's died so many different ways, it's, it's, it's laughable. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this little rant I went on. I love doing ranty type videos because I'm a fangirl. I talk a little quickly. Sorry about that. But when I get excited about something, I just want to talk. <laughs> so I hope you guys found this entertaining. I'll be back again on Thursday with another True Crime Thursday and Monday with whatever I decide to post. Alright guys, I'll see you later.